Hi my salty pecans and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi my name is Pamela and on today's video I am going to be sharing with you all five common house plants that we all know and love and also five uncommon varieties that we did not honestly know existed. I could not believe when I was doing my research that these beauties <laughs> even <laughs> are out there like what? I need every single last one of them. This is not to condone everyone to go out and buy them because we know how the market is looking right now. So if you're interested in the five common house plants I'm going to mention, and their five extremely awesome, cool counterpart twins, doppelgangers, then keep on watching. <laughs> Welcome back everyone. All right, boom, 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 boom. All right, <laughs> what's wrong with me? I don't know. <laughs> so the first plant I'm actually going to mention is none other than the beautiful, the velvety philodendron micans. Yes, so this is actually my beautiful philodendron micans. I've <laughs> had this plant for a few years now and I've chopped this plant so many times. This is an amazing, amazing plant to have in your collection. We all know the Mykins, and if you don't know the Mykins, well, you're about to know. The Mykins has just this beautiful, beautiful velvety leaves, and the underside is just this dark, dark red, dark eggplant, just maroon, plum, it's beautiful depending on the light that you put on it the color of the foliage kind of changes but did you actually know the counterpart of this is there is a variegated a variegated a variegated philodendron micans yes yes there's a variegated philodendron micans what emma gerd I'm, a girl. I'm always just so amazed by how different and how many varieties of plants there are out there in this world. <sighs> I need it. I need a variegated philodendron. My the next plant that I'm going to be mentioning, I'm going to show another form of it, but it is the Monstera Deliciosa. This one I'm showing you is the Monstera Deliciosa Albo Variegata. The variegated form this one has the white and the green it's so beautiful this is Hannah my Monstera Albo but did you know that there's a Monstera Cirana I believe is how you pronounce it I could definitely be wrong because I don't know how to pronounce it properly but it's the Monstera Cirana all right that is beautiful I thought the Swiss cheeseness of the Delicioso was nice but you need to check out the Cirana if you come across it, then definitely get your hands on one because I need one. The next plant, I do not own one. I do want one, but I have not found the exact one I want yet. But the Ficus Elastica, the next common plant that we all know and love. It's beautiful. Rubber comes from the rubber tree. There's so many different varieties, but did you know there is an even more uncommon variety called the Ficus Chivariana. I believe is how you pronounce it. This is just beautiful. I <laughs> I tried to Google this plant. I tried to look up to purchase this plant. And one, it's like nearly impossible to find this plant. And two, the prices are not in my budget. I don't got the budget for those plants. <laughs> but I would like them from a distance. <laughs> so yes, the Ficus Shiveriana is the next beauty that I did not know existed, but it is awesome. Hey Salty Peeps, are you still watching? If you are, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and share them on your social medias because that is how my videos get traction. The more views, the more foreign eyes that come on here and decide they want to say the same way you're saying is awesome. We're gonna grow a little kooky family, grow a salty pecan community. But with that being said, let's get back to the remainder of the plants. 
So the next plant that I also don't own, but I really would like one, but I'm a little nervous of the type of plant that it is. It is a palm, and to be more specific, it is the Liqua La Ramsay. I definitely am probably butchering it, but the Australian fan palm or the Japanese fan palm, they're very similar. The Likuala Ramsai is not the Japanese, it's the Aussie, but they look very, very similar. The fan palms are beautiful, 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 beautiful. But did you know there's a variety called the Likuala Mapu? I mean, do you see this plant? Do you see how freaking gorgeous? This is the Likuala Mapu versus the Likuala Ramsai. <laughs> so that is the next beautiful common plant and it's even more uncommon cousin that is stunning. Period. So last but certainly, certainly not least is the Peperomia prostrata. Yes, you're probably like, Pam, why are you showing Shiga turtles? Because, honey, calm down, because the string of turtles, oh, gorgeous. Look at these little turtle, turtle, turtles. Depending on how happy your turtles are, depending on how much humidity it's getting, depending on how much water it's getting, these babies get really thick, really plump, really juicy. But did you know that there's actually a variegated string of turtles? Did you know that? Because I didn't know that. And when I found that out, I can't find it. I can't find it. But it exists out there. Some of you lucky ducks got one, right? And I need my hand on a variegated string of turtles. Is this not stunning? Is this not gorgeous? Oh my Now I'm looking at mine like, oh, where, 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 where. <laughs> My salty pecans, did you enjoy the five plants that I mentioned? The five common house plants that we see and we all know and love, and also the five uncommonness of those same exact plants. These rare, uncommon, beautiful, where do they come from? Where do they exist? How can I get my hands on them? Oh, you actually want my whole soul for the plant. I don't want the plant like that. I don't want it like that, like that. <laughs> so if this is your first time hearing of the plants that I mentioned, the Philodendron Mykins, the Variegated Philodendron Mykins, the Monstera Deliciosa, the Monstera Suriana, the Ficus Elastica, the Ficus Shiveriana, the Liquala Ramsay, and the Liquala Mapu, and last but not least, the Peperomia Prostrata and the Peperomia Prostrata Variegata. <laughs> so, if you have any of those, if you know where I can pick one up, if you sell them, definitely leave them in the comment section below. Sharing is caring. Other people might be interested in what you might have to offer. So, definitely shout yourself out below if you sell plants only. And get to selling, get to making your bread, all right? 2021, we out here to make money, and 2021, we're trying to get our collection for really good prices, okay, everyone? With that being said, thank you so much, my Salty Pecans, for watching this video. If you liked it, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and sharing. Share, 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 share on your pages, share on your Facebook, share on your IG, share on your stories, just share, 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 share my videos. We are trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. So definitely, we are going to get there with more growth. <laughs> Subscribe if you aren't already. Join this little cookie family because we're pretty awesome here. Become a Salty Pecan and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified every single time I upload a new video. And I will see you on the next one. Let's get growing. Bye!